Dragon Ball Z Hyper Dimension Released in 1996, the final game for the Super Nintendo Set in the Dragon Ball franchise to be released Released by Bandai Namco Hopefully it's the English um, translation version This game was released in Japan in Japanese I don't believe it was released outside of Japan But there is an English translation of the, of the ROM It's been out for quite a while believe. So this is the most uh, gorgeous Dragon Ball game Set in the Buu Saga uh, for the Super Nintendo, we will try it out. We have Storm Mode, we have VS, and we have Tenkai, and we have Practice. We'll go to Options first. Uh, call a random, Rush Battle on, Knock Away on. Okay, we're happy with that. We can practice. We have probably a tournament mode here, Tenkai, and we have VS and Story. Well, let's go to Practice. The characters are Super Saiyan 2, Son Goku, main character, we have Piccolo, fused with Nail from the Namekian saga, he might also be fused with Kami in the Android saga, we have Majin Buu, we have Majin Vegeta, we have uh, Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks, fusion, uh, Gotenks is a fusion, Finn Son Goten and Trunks, Kid Trunks. Uh, so he's Son Goten, and then it's Super Saiyan 3, Son Goten. We have uh, Blue Kid Buu, the main evil character, and ultimate boss of Dragon Ball Z, final evil guy. We have uh, Frieza, the boss of the Namekian saga. We have Perfect Cell, the boss of the Android saga. Uh, we didn't have uh, unlimited time. I automatically had to pick a character. You can see the sprites are better here. This is different, you can't move up in the same way you did in the other game. On uh, triangle you still shoot the beam. You, s s you move up like this on triangle. And you hit with square. And you kick with X. So this plays more like the the Budokai games. Nothing is done on L1 or R1. You can jump using the, the directional buttons and crouch. And you can still charge on uh, if you hold square and X. Unlike the other androids, I believe that Cell has energy, so it's correct. This game didn't have that many characters. We have Perfect Cell. Then we have probably Adult Gohan and uh, Super Saiyan uh, Vegito, which is a fusion of Vegeta and Goku. Okay, we can exit here. So I clicked on select to exit, okay. Let's uh, check Tenkai. U CPU. X random. So we can uh, have them fight. Um, <coughs> we'll see here. have Super Saiyan 2 Goku. Now this is Vegito, the fusion between Vegeta and Goku. Piccolo, Majin Buu, Kid Buu, Frieza, Perfect Cell, Super Saiyan 2 Goku, Majin Vegeta, Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks, Ultimate Gohan, or Adult Gohan. Okay. It's not that many characters. Uh, so triangle is uh, is uh, random. Fuck X is started it. No, it exited. I see. Let's go to tank again. I believe it's a tournament mode. Ah, so we could make them come. That's good. Okay, 
come again. We'll have different characters compete in the tournament. We have Goku, Vegeta, Gotenks and Gohan. And uh, can take Piccolo. Madian Boo. Frieza. And Cell. So I missed out on Vegito and uh, Kid Boo, I believe. Okay, perfect Cell. So it's like a tournament mode where you can have CPU versus CPU. That's interesting. I wonder if you can watch the, the fight. If they will be automatically resolved. Ah, fuck, they are automatically resolved. That sucks. Can't really watch the CPU fight the CPU. They will be auto resolved if we have the CPU fight itself. Alright. That was a bit disappointing. player is supposed to play in the tournament, but everyone else can be AI controlled. If everyone is AI controlled then it's out of result, so it's ruined it. Okay. <coughs> Super Saiyan 2 Goku won the tournament. Let's exit. I rep remember playing this back in the day a little bit, the story mode, so a VS mode too, VS computer and versus two player, but we need to play against the computer I believe, let's check it out. Yeah, we need to control one of the characters ourselves. There is, there is no CPU versus CPU in this game. Let's go to the story mode. Play a bit of the story mode. Music is great in this game. Goku and, and his friends made sacrifices in the battle against Vegeta. Gohan and Krillin went to Namek to gather the Dragon Balls. However, Frieza was already there looking for the Dragon Balls. No one found the Dragon Balls and wished back Piccolo. And so the battle began. Yeah, we'll fight uh, Frieza as Piccolo. B I remember playing this story mode in the past, but only up until Perfect Cell. I couldn't defeat Perfect Cell. Okay, we'll fight Frieza. Piccolo says, I will show the rage of Namek. Frieza says, my power is more fearful than death. So in the story mode you play as different characters based on the story of Dragon Ball Z. Starting with the battle against Frieza as Piccolo. So you start on the late Namek saga. You got owned. Maybe the characters are on high difficulty, I don't know. But I believe I remember this game was quite difficult. Piccolo says, Shit! Thanks for wishing me back, but uh, Frieza is just too strong. With Piccolo's defeat, it seemed like 
<coughs> the, you had lost, but then Goku arrived. Ah, so he lost automatically that fight. Goku used the spirit bomb on Frieza, but he lived. Uh, Rage Frieza killed Goku's friend Krillin. Goku's, Goku's rage made him a Super Saiyan. Alright, so this is the real first battle. <coughs> Goku says, I must Saiyan from Earth. It is time for you to die. I believe in the manga he would say it's time for you to pay. Uh, Priest says, Rubbish! Okay. Let's fight as Super Saiyan 2 Goku against Final Form Frieza on planet Namek. It's been ages since I played this game. I used the keyboard back then. Now I'm using the PlayStation 4 controller, which works way more like a Super Nintendo controller. I actually have an adapter with uh, Super Nintendo controllers, two of them, but haven't really connected it to the computer. It, it's fine to play with this, the PS4 controller. Otherwise, I would need to configure that controller too. The PS4 still has similar buttons. They're just named differently. The PS4 has some new buttons that are not used by older games, like this game. So yeah, this game looks great and plays more like a Budokai game. I'm not, I'm not very good at it, but I remember reaching Perfect Cell in the past. We lost the fight. Let's use eat in sensu bean, yes or no. So a sensu bean is a bean which restores our health and power a bit. So we'll take one sensu bean, we have three. When all three have been spent we get game over. So we'll try it uh, until we get game over. I like the sprites in this game, it looked great. They look great. I just do not like um, <coughs> the difficulty of the game. But I don't know how to do special attacks. Yeah, it's a great uh, looking game for the Super Nintendo, which is a 16 bit system, so, so it's probably <coughs> maxed out here, the graphics that system because in 1996 I believe <coughs> Super Nintendo was on its last legs it's the same year that the Nintendo 64 got released and I believe also that I got the Super Nintendo in 1996 me and my twin sister got a Super Nintendo back then but we only had um, Donkey Kong Country and Donkey Kong Country 3 on it and Starving Dragon Ball, unfortunately, wasn't a thing, as I said before, in a different video. So I never had a Dragon Ball game on the Super Nintendo. <coughs> but I owned a Super Nintendo. The three games. Then I believe I played m many other games, thanks to borrowing from friends, you know, like Super Mario games. Probably played all of them. And uh, other games too, like Jurassic Park 2. <coughs> okay, new text. During the battle, all Frieza's victims got revived and all but Goku and Frieza were wished to Earth. Goku killed Frieza but didn't return to Earth. Vegeta went to find him to become a Super Saiyan. <coughs> After Goku and Vegeta come back, uh, came back, 16, 17 and 18 attack as they are fighting cell comes and as they are fighting cell comes and kills 16 devouring 17 and 18 is perfect cell so even if we lose the fights in this game that the story mode progresses so we reach cell no matter what and he is perfect cell that's why 18 and 17 got cut and 16 cell is <coughs> very strong and seems to be winning then Vegeta attacks. Yeah, I like playing as uh, Majin Vegeta in this game. 
not only looks great but has great moves too and is fast. <coughs> Vegeta says, you fool, my Super Saiyan power is more than you can handle. <laughs> Perfect Cell says, you are very confident but you will never defeat me. <coughs> Okay, so we will fight this Majin Vegeta. He looked actually cool in this game. This was back in 1996. This would be very good graphics for a 2D fighting game. The best looking Dragon Ball game to date. <coughs> so yeah, an impressive 2D fighting game for a 16-bit system. And Vegeta actually had good moves. And looked cool. I have no idea how to do special moves. But he moves good and uh, great. I mean, he has uh, fast moves. Fuck, we lost the fight. Knocked out. Okay, uh, Okay, the story still continues. Now, who is the fool? <laughs> I might actually have reached Boo in this game. <coughs> the battle seemed hopeless. <coughs> no matter what they tried, Cell was too strong. Goku, Vegeta, Piccolo, Gohan and Trunks combined were no match. Goku became enraged. <coughs> so Super Saiyan 2 Goku says, I might I must beat you. Yeah. Perfect Cell says, I will be I will destroy you. And then the earth. Okay, so we'll fight this Super Saiyan 2 Goku. I believe I fought this fight too. When I think about it, I've reached uh, Majin Buu at least. And play this Vegito, I believe. At least Super Saiyan 2 Goku also had good moves. They look really cool when they charge in this game, much better than in the Butoden games, the three earlier games for the same system. Here they actually looked great and they charged. Back in the show. But it's difficult, the game. It would probably be a fun fighter against another player. I will lose the fight. The story will probably continue. They even have a comment, but in Japanese. The game was never translated officially or released in the Vist. <coughs> Could continue. Cost one sensor bean. Let's try again. Yeah, it's a problem that I don't know how to do the special attacks. This is the Super Nintendo at its best graphically. <coughs> Try once more, we'll probably get game over. And that will be it for this video. We have taken a look at Hyper Dimension. I believe there is a Mugen game which ported these stages and characters too. And the Mugen engine from 1999, uh, which is an engine that could be played, I believe, on the computer but also on, the, on an Android phone. It, it has additional modes like uh, tag team mode and uh, team battle mode and watch mode so it's probably uh, an improved version of this game and easier because you can uh, have eight different difficult levels too so it's a Mugen game that <coughs> kind of ported this game to the Mugen engine 
might take a look at that later. It has the same character sprites and, and stages. Maybe the same music or different music, I'm not sure. We'll take a look at it later. It's fan made, of course, that port. So the Mugen engine is a uh, an engine released in 1999, a fighting game engine where, where fans can create their own fighting games and, and someone ported this game to it. Okay, which gave it additional modes and such. Okay, so this game is the final Dragon Ball Z game on the Super Nintendo, released in 1996. Thank you for watching, and it, this game was only released in Japan, but received an English translation later, thanks to fans. Okay, thanks for watching, bye.